Well, we have made it to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. We are the Bluey family. I'm the mom. I'm Mika. Bluey! And Dad! <laughs> and we are so excited for an awesome time here at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So where here at Magic Kingdom we didn't come until four o'clock because that's the earliest you can come if you are only coming for the party and if you have park reservations you can come all day but if you do not then you cannot get here until four o'clock and so we got here at four o'clock we scanned in our tickets the line was extremely long it took us about 20 minutes to get through the line just to scan our tickets to get in and then they took us right back here to the back where we um, were able to pick up our candy bags for the night it says let's boo this and then we got a full-size bag of candy and started our adventures here at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So we thought that we would go and see Jack and Sally because they're at the Main Street Theater but the wait time was two and a half hours to see Jack and Sally. Oh my gosh, um, they're not normally around, so I can understand it. It's kind of a, a rare sighting, which is really cool. And then we also found out Mickey will be here at seven o'clock, but Minnie will not. She's going to be in Fantasyland in the circus area, so we're gonna try to find her at some point in her Halloween costume, but she is not with Mickey here at Town Square Theater, so we're gonna see where she is. We're gonna go check out the Halloween swag here at the Emporium. bowl, candy bowl. It's a cauldron for all of your spells. Sisters? I smell So they are now putting up some uh, barricades trying to clear the park from the Magic Kingdom guests from today to just being party guests. So you have to have your wristband on to stay in the park. If you don't have your wristband on, see ya. See you another day. See you real soon. We're checking wristbands at the rides as well. We 
got row one. We never get row one. And if we do get row one, we're with a big group of people and our kids don't let us have row one. So we get row one. So for some reason, they call that the happiest cruise on earth. I'm not sure about that. In our next video, we're gonna see us on the Disney Wish. That may be the happiest cruise on earth. Stay tuned. You mean you don't think it's, it's a small world? Yeah. I'm offended. <laughs> I think those people were rope dropping the treats. To trick or treat, run amok and yell boom! Mickey's not so scary Halloween party has begun. <laughs> now the music has changed over. It is now officially time for Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. So one of the best things about Mickey's not so scary Halloween party is that there are characters out that you don't always get to see. And there's a lot more meet and greet opportunities than on a normal day at the park. And oftentimes they're dressed up in Halloween costumes if they're good guys. If they're bad guys, of course, they're just in their normal villain attire. Um, so the lines right now that we're seeing, Winnie the Pooh and characters are a really long line. And then we're in line to see the Queen of Hearts and the Mad Hatter, um, who are not dressed up, they're just in their normal costumes. So we're excited about that. But there's a lot more characters out than you would normally see on a normal day. Now, who are you? And who are you? Lovely. Now that's exciting. So you're the true blue Lulu. And you're definitely orange. Yeah. Oh, I love that. We should come up for a photo. Right, it's all lovely. different colors. Because so you're wearing the blue and I'm wearing the orange. Oh, yeah. you're wearing it's true. <laughs> so colorful. Thank you, Alan. Why, of course, it was lovely to see you both. Right, you and don't go disappearing like the Cheshire yeah. Cat, okay? okay. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, Bye -bye, Lulu the Blue. Bye bye. Yeah. We got to meet Alice and the Mad Hatters. Very exciting. Um, the Queen of Hearts has her own line, and that one, it took about 15 minutes, 20 minutes really, and it was pretty short. So we're gonna keep moving and go find some dance parties and see what's going on. The lines to see the characters may be longer than the lines to actually ride some of the rides. Not sure yet. The lines are pretty long regardless. A lot of people here, it's sold out. So far, I've seen Fancy Nancy and Bamberina. Let's go check it out. I love the Halloween party. It's a little different, but we just got back from the Disney Junior dance party and we're gonna go to our first trick or treat. We're not being stingy. Halloween it up. <laughs> 
event happening at the Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. We're not playing past the possible. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> getting more candy. Hi, My Monsters Happy Inc. Laugh Floor. Happy Halloween. And Mom and Dad, happy Halloween. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> whole Halloween overlay here on the lab floor. Pretty cool. We're gonna sit down on the lab floor for just a second because we hear that they make fun of people. <laughs> and, um, so we're gonna eat some candy and cool off because it's Okay, is this all ready to go? Okay, thank you, Russ. Sorry, you can get off the screen now. Stop micromanaging me, jeez. Hi, humans. Happy Halloween, everybody. Ooh, wait a minute. Whoops. This is getting weirder every time I see Halloween. I'm, I've seen some scary humans out here before. I've never seen a giant fruit before. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I, it's really fascinating to come talk to visit humans um, at this Halloween time because you get to see some non-humans. Can I ask some questions to this pineapple feet? What brings you uh, to the last floor? How did the pineapple get out of the ground? <laughs> I understand. It's pretty astonishing to be a sentient fruit. <laughs> I didn't know you guys could leave the garden. I want to ask this thing. I have to talk to this. <laughs> hey, um, don't, shouldn't you be in the garden? They kicked me out. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not. You're, you're, oh, you're not? You didn't like the garden? No. Oh, that's good. Well, that's great. I'm don't skip the treats in the Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor. It's pretty funny. So don't stop. And make sure you sit down and sit for like a few minutes. It's kind of funny. It's a double candy. Woo! Yay, candy. Double candy. Yay, yay. Candy on the way in, candy on the way out. That's the way I like it. It will be time to present Hocus Pocus Villain Spelltacular. My dear friends, happy All Hallows Eve. Gather round and prepare thyselves for something magical shall happen here tonight in but a few minutes' time. Tease. I thought it was supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, friends. Tonight, on All Hallows' Eve, your world and the magical world collide for but one night. A night filled with a little trick, a little treat, and a bit of hocus pocus. I put us there. Oh no. I know. 
be all mine. <laughs> I'm gonna spin on your... <laughs> and now... Thank you. Alright, as you guys are here, I'm going to give you a short tour before we take you to your table. We set the table on these tables right over here. You're going to find all of our non-alcoholic beverages, like our juice and lemonade. And over in the corner by that greenery, you're going to find all of, all of our alcohol drinks at the bar. Right in front of you, of course, is our lovely treats buffet, complete with our hot apple cinnamon crepes right in the center there. And in our newest addition to our dessert party, we have our paint decorating table over in the corner here. It's going to have sprinkles frosting and all that sort of fun stuff. Lots of fun. Definitely recommend it. for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party Fireworks. It starts an hour and a half before fireworks. Um, it's kind of called the pre-party to, to those in the know around here apparently. Um, so we've done the dessert party before at Tomorrowland Terrace where we can sit and watch the fireworks. Here we have the party, we have the desserts, and then we're going to move out to the Plaza Garden viewing area for the fireworks portion. But we can also walk out there for the parade as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's just nice to sit down. <laughs> Powerline Max, part of the show before the parade comes down the street. Pretty cool. Hi guys, we just finished the dessert party and like seriously we just watched the Hocus Pocus. I'm sorry y'all did not get to see it, but you'll see it on my dad's channel. It's called Fairytale Journeys by Zach. And my mom, of course. Fairytale Journeys by Monica. We are going to the parade for y'all can see. Watching the Boo To You Halloween Parade. That's a really scary one.
we checked in for the dessert party, shoved some dessert in our mouth, and went to the parade. So I would have to say, I don't know if it was totally worth it for the Halloween party. Definitely worth it for the regular fireworks, but there's just so much activities for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and you don't want to miss anything, especially that booty parade. There are a couple of times for it, but our kids aren't going to make it to the late time, so we got to see the early stuff. Um, so now we're sitting in the plaza viewing area and there's plenty of space we're not like person to person like you are out in the middle of everything so that is nice that is a huge perk and the fireworks are going to start um, really soon get ready for this firework show it is the one of the best this is Halloween it's so um, it tells a story it's a good story we've loved it the kids are struggling but we're having fun the night's not over it's only 10 23 we got this <laughs> we are gonna ride the Pirates of the Caribbean this is Zach's favorite ride on a normal basis, but at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, there's real pirates. So we're excited. The line is a little longer than you would hope, but it's normally pretty long during the Halloween party because of the cool Halloween special with the real pirates. So it will go back now. Hi, did you hear about the pirate who went on vacation? He needed some R&R. Hey, what's a pirate's favorite cookie? What? Ships Ahoy. Ah! It's so fun having real pirates on the pirate line. It's so it keeps the line entertaining. Yeah. Hi, mate. Hey, want a song? Yeah. Right, here we go. Will you dance? How are you? You had a good time? That's so nice. You guys look fantastic, by the way. I'm just a pirate, but you guys look really great. <laughs> All right, you gonna go on the ride now? Yeah. Have a good time. Hey, find the uh, find the treasure. Bring back uh, all of it. I'll give you ten percent. Okay, we made it. Only one side is open. That's why the lines take so long. And the pirates are talking to you, so you know there's a little delay with that. It's fine. It took about twenty minutes. It's fine. We come. Another treat spot over here in Frontierland. With a glowing pumpkin to light the way, he's lurking to find his perfect prey. He's the bringer of Halloween fear. Beware, the headless horseman is here. Ah, uh, we finally got to do it. I'm heading off of uh, Pirates, we got over here in Frontierland, and we got to see the headless horseman. So we, we missed it the first time, so so excited to see that back. Foolish mortals. <laughs> Keep track of all of your belongings or a ghost will follow you home. Or worse, a child. <laughs> Guess which one is harder to get rid of. <laughs> is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination which offers you this chilling challenge? To find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way.
Got out of the Haunted Mansion. It's fun all the time. The only difference this time was that there were actual real ghosts in the graveyard. So it was fun, always. 11.45 at night, Peter Pan, it's a walk on. We made it. Phoebe, we're tired. And off we go! Well, it's 11.50 and Peter Pan was a walk-on and I couldn't walk out of this park without walking on to my favorite ride. Perfect! <laughs> One more treat stop before we leave. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Thank you. They're playing some cartoons and Philhar Magic right after the candy stop. Just when you thought it was over. We came, we saw, we conquered, we were here at four when it opened and we're leaving at midnight when it's closing. We had a blast. We missed it so much. Boo Bash last year was fun, but not nearly what Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is. Don't miss it. There's still time to book. In fact, if you're ready to book and you're a bit on the fence about it, please drop me a quote at ftjtravelbymonica.com. Fill out my quote request form. Let's get you on the books ASAP because space is very slim and I know you don't want to miss Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And if, even if, you can't make it work this year let's go ahead and just get you on the books for next year so i hope to hear from you soon thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more awesome content just like this and we will see you real soon